Hi, it's Preston DeGuys here, and in this demo, I'm going to take you through deploying PowerProtect Data Manager within your VMware environment. So, let's start by logging on to our vCenter server. Once we've logged on, we'll deploy the OVA file that we've downloaded from the support website. Once we've selected the OVA, our next step will be to name the virtual machine that we're deploying, which defaults to PowerProtect, but we'll change it here and then set up where we want to actually deploy it to within the VMware farm. Once the virtual machine has been validated, we'll be prompted to confirm the certificate. We'll also be prompted to confirm the provisioning for the storage, and then we'll move on to the networking configuration. For the networking, we'll supply the IP address, default gateway, netmask, DNS, and the fully qualified domain name setting for the system. After we've input all those details, we'll be prompted to confirm all the settings that we've used before we move on to actually deploying the OVA itself. Click finish when you're happy with all the settings and the deployment will commence. Depending on the speed of your VMware environment, and my system is just a lab, the deployment may take a few minutes to complete so I've clipped out some of the waiting from the deployment video. Once the deployment has finished, we can boot up our virtual machine. The VM will do a first-time initialization, after which we can perform the baseline setup of PPDM. That's going to be covered in the next video. Thanks for watching.